four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hey, what's up, everyone? Sontop here, and today I'm going to give you the details where in 2023 we could actually see a Fed pivot, reducing the interest rate and doing a quantitative easing. That is. Uh, printing more dollars or maybe could be alternative. Let's dig into the details guys because 2023 seems to be a good a good good place for crypto and growth stocks mostly crypto since we're at my channel you know uh, I'm more more concerned and in, uh, most concerned and invested in crypto so this is what we're kind of good, trying to see in 2023 if crypto is going to be uh, the bull market for crypto now yes with that welcome to my channel and where i try to bring daily videos on crypto projects where we c you can give get about thousand x to hundred x return in bull market and trying to find the best project possible apart from that uh Yes, uh, try to research more details and try to find the best product. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. I'm just a DJ, just like you, trying to review research and try to get in the details of the uh, of the scenario of the whole market and try to bring it to you guys. Please do subscribe to the channel to support the channel so that I can research more and bring you the information in short form and uh, hopefully, you know, try to help you grab the bull market and uh, help you grab the next thousand X. Now, in case if you're new to th new to this space, since I'm in a DGN space, if you're new, uh, I do, we try to find new coins every day. And if you're new to this place, please uh, subscribe and join my Telegram channel at Sontop underscore Top G, where I try to share you information about how to avoid scam coins, how to buy new coin launches. Uh, as I as I lost money during my initial phase. All right, without wasting much of time, let's dig into the details. Why uh, Fed in 2023 could pivot and reduce the interest rate, do a quantitative quantitative easing that would actually be like pushing more money around, or an, an alternative would it which could which could actually benefit crypto. All right, so. The recent updates, the recent market has been retail sales has been going down. So the retail sales has been going down as in, you know, the clothing store and all the thing. For example, Lululemon, uh, if you know the Lululemon clothing store, they have about 1.8 billion worth of inventory, inventory, you know, not sold as in left. So now you, they are actually probably going to reduce the price of those inventories so that they can exit the inventories and let people buy it. Now, apart from that, the car sales has been down. The new car sales has been down as well. And then the mortgage, the interest rate as at 6%, the mortgage, uh, the whole real estate market has been down. So what's happening over here is now before the market was fear of inflation, it's gradually shifting from inflation to recession, right? Now, if the market fears of recession, and if the recession, 2023 is a place where a recession could occur, that's what the news is around. Now, if the recession happens, Fed has to implement something. The way they can do is reduce the interest rate. And they can do a quantitative easing. That's quantitative easing basically means printing more money as it happens during COVID time. However, now the money is already floating around in the market. There has been tons of money floating around in the economy. Now, if they do quantitative easing by printing money, you know, that might not be a feasible solution. So the feasible solution for Fed might be looking alternative looking for alternative as in looking alternative as in you know looking towards bitcoin or ethereum as a form of currency so that would actually boost the crypto market now apart from that in case if fed reduces the interest rate to combat the recession and does a quantitative easing and this time quantitative easing in form of alternative form of cryptocurrency or any form of currency, this would actually benefit the growth stock and the crypto in general. So it seems like the crypto market in coming 2023 seems to be looking very bullish. Now, it does not mean that you have to buy it right now 
at the, at the moment the sentiment is pretty very bad and we uh, as per my research and listening to the details of the people the, we could expect ETH and BTC sideways for a while. So the best you can do is buy the dip, sell at the top, you know, do a trade. And definitely not the time to buy Alcoin right now. But yes, it would be nice to watch the market scenario in details regarding the Fed pivot. Because now the momentum has shifted from uh, fear of inflation to fear of recession. I'm going to share a chart with you guys. And that would be, let's see. All right, now this is a 10 year, uh, 10 year yield. So if you look over here, when the 10 year yield was about more than 4%, that's back in November, that's when the stock fell off, started falling off. Because the money has been shifting from stock to the 10 year yield. If you're getting interest in 10 year yield, why would not, you know, put the money in stock? And why would you put the money in stock if you're which is a risky, more risky, and since fear of recession and inflation and all. However, now it has been coming down, the interest rate right around 3%. Uh, recently, if you st still research about the chart and try to dig into the details, uh, the interest rate has been falling down. However, at the same time, the stock has been falling down as well. Usually what happens is when the 10-year interest rate goes up, stocks goes down. But this time, the 10-year real 10-year yield is going down and the stock is going down as, at the same time, which would indicate the fear of recession, as I was saying. The fear of recession, the fear of uh, the, the market going down further and the economy. So for which the Fed has to do something. The o only way for Fed has an option is reduce the interest rate, does a quantitative easing. Once again, if Fed does that, it would actually benefit the growth stock and crypto. And for me and for us, crypto is what we need. Uh, you know, probably flow a lot of money in the crypto. Now, the best uh, place right now to watch the crypto would be, of course, the the big coins. Like, let me quickly share the Coin Gecko, uh, Coin Gecko market cap. And so now the research, these are all the research that I have done from my side. You, you know, I'm sure you guys are good enough too to do, do it, but I just wanted to share the details. Now, if you look at the coin gecko uh, over here, Bitcoin has been down by 0.5%, Ethereum 1.3%, and the Binance and XRP, Polygon and everything. But yes, the, the best place to look at the moment would be again, uh, either to DCA, dollar cost average, or uh, do a trading in Bitcoin and Ethereum. If, if it dips down, you just buy it, and uh, we ex we're expecting a sideways for a while. All right, these are all the information I have after a bit of a research that I have done again. So 2023 looks good for us in the crypto market. And uh, so yes, bear market is the best place to f try to find the gems, and that's what I'm trying to do every day to uh, hopefully we are able to catch 1000x, few thousand x, in fact 100x in coming bull market. Guys, in case if you like the video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to support the channel because I'll be bringing you uh, another video Sunday as well. Weekend, usually I'll try to cover the market and the weekdays would be the coins that we would try to find. I have an amazing video that I will cover tomorrow that is on sunday that's again on a whole macro view basis the research that i'm getting i'm getting it from the top notch the, the top people uh which i'm pretty sure it's going to be very beneficial please do subscribe support the channel so that i can uh you know it would encourage me to to bring more videos so that it can help you guys as well so thank you for your time guys see you in my, see you in my next video